Magandang araw mga classmates. So ngayong araw ay itutuloy natin ang ating uh, naging aralin about uh, solving problems involving permutations and combinations. Okay, so bali ito yung ating magiging third problem. So a box contains 5 red balls, 7 green balls, and 6 yellow balls. In how many ways can 6 balls be chosen if there should be 2 balls of each color? Okay, ang unang tanong, ito ba'y problem na may kinalaman sa permutation or combination? Okay, so the answer is combination. So bakit? So halimbawa dito sa 5 red balls, so kung kukuha tayo or uh, we're going to select 2, so it doesn't matter kung ano yung makuha natin mula dun sa 5 available red balls. So ganun din sa 7 uh, green balls and 6 yellow balls. So kahit ano dun, as long as uh, dapat ma-follow natin yung restriction. Okay, so ano, ano pa yung uh, isang dapat natin tandaan? So aside from that, alam na natin na ito'y combination. So dapat makakuha tayo ng anim na bola. At yung anim na bola ng yun dapat nanggaling o magkakaiba yung kulay. So big sabihin dahil meron tayong tatlong kulay, so tigda dalawa ang kailangan natin. Okay, so to start, ito yung magiging solution natin. So, we have N. Okay. So, from 5 uh, red balls. So, this is a combination of 5 taken 2. So, we're going to select 2 red balls from 5 uh, available red balls. Okay. So, this will be multiplied. So, by the way, this is uh, an application of uh, fundamental counting principle and at the same time, combination. Ano? So, kaya multiply siya doon sa combination of 7 taken 2 at a time. So, yung 7, ito yung uh, ito, 7 green balls. So, multiply natin sa combination of 6 taken 2 at a time. So, dahil meron tayong 6 na yellow balls. Okay. So, simplify lang natin. So, we'll have uh, 5 factorial over uh, 2 factorial times 3 factorial. Again, so this will be multiplied to 7 factorial all over 2 factorial 7 minus 2. We have 5 factorial times 6 factorial over 2 factorial. So, 6 minus 2, we have 4 factorial. So, kunin lang natin yung mga value nito. So, yung una, 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 factorial. So, ang value niya is 10. Again, so multiply. 7 factorial all over 5 factorial times 2 factorial. So, this is 21. And then, yung 6 factorial all over 4 factorial times uh, 2 factorial. So, this is equal to 15. Okay, multiply lang natin. 10 times two, uh, 21 times 15. So, this is equal to 3,150. So, ibig sabihin, uh, there are 3,150 ways for us to select 2 of each colors from 5 Red balls, 7 green balls, and 6 yellow balls. Okay, so for our last and fourth problem, so we have this problem. So basahin ko muna, if 3 marbles are picked randomly from a jar containing 6 red marbles and 8 green marbles, in how many possible ways can it happen that at least... Two of the marbles picked are green. Okay. So, analyze natin. So, parang yung problem ay halos parehas nung sinunda natin kanina. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay problem na may kinalaman sa combination. Combination pa rin. Pero, this time, medyo iba yung atake na gagawin natin. Kasi, uh, although, alam natin kung ilan yung kukunin from uh, the given marbles, yung uh, 6 red marbles and 8 green marbles. So, isa pa, 
kailangan at least daw ang makuha natin dalawang uh, green at least so ibig sabihin pwedeng uh, dalawang green at isang red kasi ang kailangan natin 3 marbles pwede rin naman dahil at least so ibig sabihin pwedeng mas mataas tatlong green tapos hindi na tayo kukuha ng red So, pwedeng uh, ganito yung maging combination ng tatlong marbles na makukuha natin. Okay. So, may idea na tayo kung ano yung possible combination ng marbles na pwede nating makuha. So, question, paano yung magiging solution natin? Again, so we'll have N. Para sa unang situation kung saan meron tayong dalawang green at uh, isang uh, red. So, kunin natin ang combination. So, we have combination of, kung dalawang green, so ilan ang green natin? So, we have 8, taken 2 at a time. So, this will be multiplied to combination of 6, galing dito. So, ilan ang kukuha natin? Isa. So, you take in one at a time. So, itong combination na to para dito. So, sabi natin kanina, pwedeng tatlong green ang makuha. Pwedeng, hindi na tayo kumuha ng red. So, i-add natin yan dito. So, ano ang magiging combination kung tatlo yung green? So, we have combination of 8. Take and three, kukuha tayo ng tatlo. So, dahil yung uh, red ay uh, hindi naman natin kukunin. So, kahit di na natin siya ilagay. Although, uh, uh, pwede siyang isulat as combination of six taken zero at a time. So, ito kapag sinimplify natin, so ang sagot dito is one. So, pwede na natin di ilagay ito. Kasi wala naman tayong kukunin red. Okay, simplify natin. So, we have uh, for this, we have 8 factorial over 2 factorial. So, we have 8 minus 2, 6 factorial. Next, we have 6 factorial. 1 factorial, 6 minus 1, we have 5 factorial. Plus, 8 factorial all over 3 factorial times 8 minus 3, we have 5 factorial. Okay, simplify natin. So, yung 8 factorial all over 2 factorial times 6 factorial, so this is equal to 28. Times 6 factorial all over 1 factorial times times 5 factorial, so this is equal to 6. Okay, plus, ito. So, ang 8 factorial, all over 3 factorial times 5 factorial, so is equal to 56. Okay, simplify natin. 28 times 6, we have 168 plus 56. Okay, so alisin ko na to. Ang sum nito is 224. Okay. So that's it. I hope ay uh, meron kayo natutunan sa lesson natin ngayong araw. And uh, feel free to share this video to others, especially sa iba pa nating classmate, para mas marami pa tayong matulungang iba. Until next time!